The sun is not heating the air. The sun is an intense source of visible light. The visible light is not absorbed by the atmosphere. How do you know this? Because it comes through? Yes, because you can see the sun. Okay? <laughs> if, if our atmosphere absorbed visible light, right. you would not see the sun. Then it hits the ground. Where does the visible light go? It gets absorbed by Earth's surface. Earth's surface then re-radiates it into the air. Okay. But not as visible light. But not as visible light. You know how, that, how you, know, you know that? You turn out the lights, the ground disappears. At night, the ground is not glowing. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Glowing visibly. Visibly. But it is glowing in the infrared. infrared. Gotcha. Okay. So infrared light comes up. If you have infrared trapping molecules in the air. Yes. Such as. Methane. methane. Carbon. No, uh, water carbon. vapor. Carbon would I just mean, be soot. I said carbon. Carbon dioxide. No, carbon is like. No, carbon is the diamond? black stuff that is comes. Is diamonds in the atmosphere? Right. No. Diamonds are carbon, carbon too. Carbon dioxide, which is the gas. Right. People right. loosely, a little bit irresponsibly, just speak of carbon, carbon. as a carbon which footprint. Which I just did, and I know so much better. It's a little bit irresponsible because there's, is. carbon is not itself an enemy. I forgot who I was talking to. <laughs> okay. So, in fact, methane has carbon in it. Yes, it does. It's CH4. Right. All right, and carbon dioxide has carbon in it. Yes, it does. It's CO2. Right. And water also absorbs infrared, right. and it does that without carbon. Without carbon. Okay, and that warms the air. If the ground is responsible for heating the air, okay. then the closer you get to the ground, the, the higher the temperature is going to get. Right. Okay. So now all we have to do to cool the earth is just get rid of the ground. <laughs> Global warming itself. That, that'll work. <laughs> you don't have a planet, but that's <laughs> right. So you pick a height above the ground, that we experience, and that's a nice, sensible place to put the thermometer, okay? I got you. As you keep ascending, mm -hmm. you are farther and farther away from the heat source of the atmosphere. Okay. You would then expect what to happen. Nice and cool, man. Cool, cool. Yeah. Temperatures drop. Right. In the old days, before air conditioning, people who had the means would go to a higher, mountain, higher elevations, higher elevations wow. in the summertime. Oh, there you go. Where it was cooler. Hey, we're headed to our place in the <laughs> in the mountains, <laughs> in the Poconos. In the Poconos. <laughs> oh dear, will you be joining us? So temperature drops. Right. And like I said, if you pay attention to this when you're in an airplane, because lately airplanes give you all the data. Yes. Okay. Yes. And one of them is what the outside air temperature is. Exactly. It drops and drops and drops and drops and drops as you get higher and higher and higher. A common temperature you'll see is like forty below zero. That's what's happening in the troposphere. Nice. Now tell me what the troposphere is it again. It is where all of our weather comes from. And we fly just above, near the top. Near the top of the troposphere. Of it, so we don't go above it. We uh, on the top. 